humans are garbage. Humans are garbage. So I, we were we were talking yesterday. I I, I came across because uh, I my girlfriend uh, is in college right now. I'm and, making a pizza. Okay, he's gonna make a pizza. I'm just gonna explain this. Um, so we we got the idea of doing uh, or of talking about owning a guitar because we saw a guy playing guitar for apparently no one in the middle of the campus just douching it out playing Wonderwall. It was wonderful to just kind of sit back and watch. He didn't have a shirt on. He had like wait a second. Floppy cargo shorts. He was playing Wonderwall? He's playing Wonderwall shirtless. What is that song for those who may not know? It's it's the guitar song. It's like it's just the simplest four chord song that everyone knows the lyrics to and that you can just bullshit your way through and pretend to be good at guitar with. Uh, I recommend if you own a guitar, you should absolutely learn it. Speaking of which, uh, before I go any further, because I completely forgot to do this, hello, trash cans. Welcome to Being Human Garbage, the podcast where we teach you how to rise above the irritating, selfish habits of day-to-day life, like turning on the oven to make a pizza in the middle of a podcast, Yep. and transcend into being a truly despicable person and a garbage human being. We are your garbage men. My name is Wells. And I am Ben. Um, if we were to have sponsors, it'd be here, and if... We were to have a specific sponsor. It would be um, this pizza that we're about to eat is going to sponsor this podcast more than anybody could financially or because it's filling us with sustenance, and that's the important thing. As I was as I was saying, our 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 topic today is going to be playing the guitar uh, because really that's all you need to be a garbage human being is just a guitar and a dream. And and also this is something Wells and I both have experience. Yeah, with firsthand playing we, a guitar. <laughs> we both play guitar. Uh, I think we've douched it up on more than one occasion. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I have. Everyone knows. I, Everyone knows. It's just an understood. If you have a guitar, you understand the power. I have. You have. I have played guitar in the middle of a house party, and like bent oh, the party nice. to my will in oh. that way. Like where everyone just kind of stops what they're doing. They're like, "Oh, he's playing guitar. That's cool, man." And they they listen in. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not. But the important thing is I got everyone's attention, and everyone remembers that moment from the party. So that's the important thing. When you own a guitar, it's not about being good. It's about making sure you're noticed. You're being noticed. Yeah. The best part about it is that no one else has a guitar when you do. So, I mean, I guess that that's something I guess you would want to line up. Best situation to play yeah. guitar is when no one else yeah. has when, a guitar. You're not in band or anything. It's just you... With a guitar, yeah. everyone else, you know, they, they have to pay attention to you. At that point. Yeah. You have no become, choice. Become a spectacle in yeah. that in that regard. I, we were talking about it. We've just seen so many times. We spent a lot of time at college uh, getting pieces of paper that say that we're worth something. Uh, even though we don't believe it still, we have them. We have those pieces of paper. But we spent a lot of time on college campus getting those pieces of paper. Um, and during that time, I think we saw a lot of people who kind of fit this description of, of in public or otherwise just playing guitar for the simple act of just like being noticed. And I think the underlying just like they want to get laid is like the undertones of it. Would you say that's accurate? Is that the yeah. only reason why people play guitar? I, I'd say that's the main reason is, you know, ooh, this guy's musical step two sex. Yeah. You know? So everyone knows it's a girls... cle- it's an easy it's an easy and clear straight line to sex. Everyone knows girls can't control themselves around music. Yeah. Their ovaries freak out. And it doesn't and even matter. Apparently, clearly, that's the case. It doesn't even matter how good you are. It really you know? it really doesn't, apparently. I've seen people play songs that I know take no skill at all to like just four chord songs that everyone knows the words to. And right. then people just like fall o- all over it. It's amazing. The importance of today's episode is letting you know in depth what it takes to be the douchey guitar player. It is because you may not you may not have tried it out. Yeah, you may, like, and, and you may he, have a guitar and you've always just dreamed of learning only three chords and bringing the guitar to a party and playing it without anyone asking. You've probably 
always dreamed. I think we all have at some point of doing that. And so that dream. here's today's episode. Um, hopefully you get a lot out of it. We're and here to tell you that it is possible. It's not just for the, the elite. Right. You can do it too. You can. You can. You, it's you hard are work. capable. It's hard work learning those three chords. But once you learn them, yeah. you're in. And then even I've seen, if, if you want an electric guitar... Or say bass, even that's another kind of guitar. Uh-huh. Um, bass is harder. But... If if you're still wanting that mobility of being able to show off in anywhere, um, they make little pocket amps. You can honestly attach it to like the side of your and for like on your belt or something. Yeah, no, Th- and those are fantastic. That honestly is typically a lot louder than just yeah, a normal I don't, standard acoustic guitar. And that's so that's such so an keep invasion that of like people's sound space. Like that's per. Like, I don't know why I haven't ever thought of that. Just getting a little pocket yeah. pocket amp and just walking around annoying the shit out of people, that'd be great. Even yeah. better if, if you, like, are really strapped for cash, but you still want to do this, and you want to be mobile at the same time, ukulele. Ooh. Get a, get a Ooh. ukulele. My, Wells. My brother, Ooh. My brother has, has discovered the ukulele, and he has traveled the world with it. And gotten laid on all seven continents, including Antarctica. Yes, that's a fact. That is a true fact that I made up. But he's been all over. This this is true. He has been all over Oceania and uh, Asia, mm. and and just played the ukulele. And I've heard many tales of his escapades <laughs> through because of the ukulele. <laughs> he's gotten free housing because of it. He's gotten laid because of it. He's like been invited to parties as a result. People really dig it. And so what do you think is honestly his skill level with the ukulele? Like very, very, very low. Like average. Right. Okay. And I don't say that to disparage him. No. If you're listening. Of course not. No, it's just that like you're working with what you have and it's beautiful. It's amazing. Exactly. (laughs) And so keep that in mind. Like we are not promoting actually learning guitar. No, we are. No, 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 no. This is not about becoming a musician. <laughs> this is not. Or this, joining a band. This is about learning the absolute bare minimum you need to know in order to be laid. I'd yeah, say that's so, that's really the the main goal. Yeah, and, and I think because I think Wells and I both have gone laid. Have you have you many laid? times from playing? I know class. I have. I've and it's it's been one song consistently. Uh, it, it's it's yeah. I owe a huge debt. To an artist called Jonathan Colton, uh, mm-hmm. whose songs are really funny mm-hmm. and also like kind of technically challenging, in in that there's just a lot of chords to remember, mm-hmm. um, but they sound a lot more complicated than they are, and again they're really funny, so it kind of fools people into thinking that I'm funny and I play guitar. Mm-hmm. And there's one song that I that I play called Skullcrusher Mountain, uh, that's about a uh, an evil scientist who like kidnaps a girl and then uh talks about how he like is he he's in love with her but like it doesn't work out every time he bring he kidnaps girls and brings them up to the mountain because like they think he's like really evil and freaky and he's like i am but like i have feelings too i just want love (laughs) like that's the entire point of the song and it has gotten me laid like two or three times (laughs) yeah and um just a, a disclaimer for what i said earlier um I've actually never been laid from playing guitar. Yeah, but it's it's okay, Ben. Lying, Just don't listen to that part. Don't worry about it. Lying is 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 half of being a garbage human being. Exactly. It's, so, and it's not just the lying; it's the lying to yourself. Yeah, it's it's what's inside that really counts. Yeah, that's true. But I think for some reason I care too much about the people listening. I hate all of you. <laughs> bow 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 bow. To today in fake, fake history. history, you see them all the time invading the sound space of everyone in a mile-wide radius. But have you ever considered the long and proud tradition of the guitar douche? That man that plays Wonderwall unsolicited in the park isn't just trying to look cool and get laid. He's honoring the struggle of generations of men fighting to look cool and get laid. While the songs may be new and the Axe body spray may be modern, playing guitar for attention isn't just a historical pastime. It actually predates the use of the guitar itself. In Elizabethan England, Around the time of Shakespeare, society was thriving and the arts were growing in a time of unfettered peace and prosperity for the kingdom. Music and poetry were being made at the highest quality English culture had ever seen, and even medicine was advancing, with its, hey, maybe let's wash ourselves every now and then, 
stance being accepted throughout the country. But not everyone was feeling the effects of prosperity, and the result would forever change the way we viewed the casual musician. With both international and internal peace in England, soldiers seeking glory were left without a war to fight or way to prove themselves. Since the majority of soldiers were a part of the English military for the socially acceptable hiring of prostitutes during war times, having no war to fight meant that there was no purpose in being a soldier, and men would have to get creative in order to get laid. So we find a premium smuggles board who discovered that if he played three chords on a lute and repeated them, he could fool people into thinking he was good at playing the instrument. Smugglesborg traveled from town to town, tavern to tavern, playing songs with repetitive choruses and little musical variation to much success with the drunk people that often consisted of his audience. Still, his moderate skill with the lute and decent performance with the laddies isn't what earns him his place in the history of garbage people. I'm sorry. Did you say laddies? His moderate skill with the lute and decent performance with the ladies isn't what earns him his place in the history of garbage people. It was his attitude. More than half of every night in these taverns was spent by the premium Smugglesborg explaining in agonizing detail the amount of work and dedication it took to be as crippling mediocre as he was at playing the lute. No comment anyone made couldn't be connected with his love for music and the way the vibe goes when he played, and even though his fake philosophical attitude and overall arrogance annoyed every human in existence, it still somehow managed to get him late. The word of Smugglesborg got around and soon everyone was playing lutes and acting like so deep or whatever. Soon even the premium Smugglesborg had trouble getting attention when every bar and tavern he visited had up to three grown ass men playing the same four or five songs on the lute and talking about how much their calluses hurt. As time went on, the instruments changed and music was updated, but the attitude that Smugglesborg pioneered stayed the same. That attitude has fueled the existence of garbage musicians ever since. Damn, so Smugglesborg. Yeah, he really changed the game. He did at a at a, and I think <laughs> early time period. Yeah, no, it's it's it always starts earlier than you think it does. It's it's a rippling effect. That is true, by the way. That that period of history produced some of the uh, the most well known uh, poetry and and theater uh, in English history. So we've come up with homework assignments as we usually do. Yeah. And the first one, um, if you are to be this garbage human that plays yeah. guitar, the first assignment is to practice interrupting people in order to talk about yourself. Yeah. And this is this is more of a mindset thing, right? Like this is yeah. just this isn't so much going to like help you play guitar. Yeah. But it'll get you in the mindset of when you need to play guitar and and what it's to accomplish, you know? And it's it's you're training your mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone's talking. I am more interesting. I should be talking. Yeah, they need. So they need to know. That's about what you. this accomplishes. Or how whatever they're talking about, no matter how mundane, relates to you and what you've done. Right. Um, that's really all people want to hear about is is you. Yeah, I find. I find. And so homework assignment number two uh -huh. is to only practice four chords. Yeah, find your four Ever. chords. Find a couple songs that work with those four chords. Never practice any more than those four chords. Because at that point, you're learning how to play guitar. Yeah. You know, you're not being the garbage guitar player. Mm. You're not being a guitar douche. You're just learning how to play guitar. And that's an admirable skill. Also, and that's not what we're about. Homework but, assignment yeah. number three <laughs> has to do with... Um, there, there are situations where there's more than just yourself with a guitar. Mm -hmm. There's other people out there trying to accomplish the same thing you are, you know, getting laid. The homework assignment here is you need to practice playing your guitar over the other person mm -hmm. playing guitar to show your dominance as the alpha guitar player. Right. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you can say it any better than that. You just gotta. You just gotta show that you're dominant and and that you are the person most capable of, of getting laid and playing shitty guitar. And if they start getting like fancy, just play Wonderwall. Oh, Wonderwall. Because everyone will sing along to Wonderwall. Wonderwall. And then you've beaten them. That's all That's all it takes. Also, you might find yourself in a situation where there's a single guitar and multiple people want to play it. When you get the guitar, never give it up. People will call you out on it. Don't fuck, Don't give in. Because you're, you're not just trying to be the, like, a guitar douche. You're trying to be the guitar douche. It sounds, it sounds hard, I know. Like, it, like, why would you put yourself through all of this? 
buying an instrument, taking it out in public, being ridiculed as that guy. And it, no one said it was easy, you know? Right? Yeah. No, we, we never said Nobody this would says be it was easy. I mean, that's a, that's a Except line for us. from a Coldplay song. <laughs> I think you could actually learn pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, no, you could. On guitar. I mean, Coldplay's a good band, I'd say, for... For guitar douching it up, for guitar sure. Guitar douching. I mean, if you whip out a Coldplay song, ooh... Oh my goodness! There, you have so much depth. You know, you know what I, your you, personality. You know what? You know what? Another one is Imagine Dragons. Wow! Oh man! Pull that shit out at a party. And then, mm, dare I say it? Oh gosh! Do it, John Mayer. Oh, if you. How did I forget? I know this is a little advanced past the four chords, but if if you were really committed, this is advanced. Um, advanced guitar douching guitar sure. douching learn a john mayer song oh <laughs> just my one goodness but that's all it takes that's and and here's the thing is that like that does that sounds really difficult it is yeah. learning a new skill um and you could just learn guitar for yourself and and get good because it's a thing you're passionate about um but we're here to be loud and obnoxious and and garbage people so keep that in mind when you're when you're going out and you're thinking about doing these things is is you could be you could just keep it to yourself, and that's certainly the easier route, and maybe even the more fulfilling route. But we're doing a service to the world, and that's really what counts. Yep. So, yep. anything else you'd like to add, Ben? That's about it. Yep. Well, uh, I'm gonna find a guitar and play us out. Uh, and I'm gonna probably cook that pizza. Yeah, that 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 pizza. That's the arc that we've been yeah. we've been going toward. That's our that's our story arc. We're gonna we're gonna put that pizza in the oven. We're gonna eat the hell out of it. We are. So have a good day. You guys have a yeah. You guys have, a beautiful... have a day. Just have a day. Yeah. Being Human Garbage is an Art Flag production. Episodes are written, performed, and edited by Ben Drain and Wells Thompson. Ben is a sound and video editor, specializing in commercials for car dealerships, and he's very sorry about that. Wells is a freelance writer, which is another way of saying that he's poor and waiting tables. Like Being Human Garbage on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at We Like Garbage for updates and more content. Email Being Human Garbage at gmail.com to share your own garbage stories, give feedback, or talk to the team directly. All content is 100% satirical, except for when it's not. Material is used fairly and unfairly as we see fit. All rights are reserved, whatever that's supposed to mean. See you next time, trash cans.